Well, Molly, impressive. Police still don't know who was driving the car at the time of that crash. Today, we did see investigators back out in this area, checking with businesses, possibly looking for any surveillance video or witnesses or just more evidence in this case. But we're told state laws limit investigators' ability to question the three juveniles detained on Saturday. They took a true angel from, from our family, so it's just hard. Kiefer Meyer says his older brother, 39-year-old Jonathan Anderson, was in this area when a car jumped the curb, crashing into a nearby fence and barreling over five people. According to family members, Anderson and his girlfriend are among the three dead. Two other women were seriously injured and taken to the hospital. Just really was a good person and he just was full of love and and he was a very strong person too. Everett police say the area has a transient population and the victims were sleeping on the grass near the sidewalk when they were hit. Meyer says his family didn't learn his brother had been living on the streets until this happened. He was very good at hiding it and very good at not trying to concern anybody. That's the thing that sucks about this is that he supported me so much that I wish I could have supported him. Everett police say the Snohomish County Sheriff's Department tried to pull the suspect car over for a traffic stop before the crash, but the driver fled and was not pursued. They believe three to four people were in the car at the time of the crash who got out and ran. Three juvenile boys were detained, but police say state laws requiring juveniles to have access to an attorney before being questioned restricted investigators' ability to speak with the boys, and they were later released to their families. Meyer says right now he just wants the parents of the boys believed to be involved to pay for the costs of burying his brother. Hey, your kids took my big brother. And you should pay for their mistakes. The medical examiner's office has not yet released the names of those killed on Saturday. But if you have any information on this investigation, you are urged to contact Everett Police. Reporting live in Everett, Lynn Wynn, Como News.